Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make these three variations of a low carb pancake. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer, or if you're new, welcome. I'm Jennifer Bands, and I am a cookbook author, and I have a very popular recipe blog where I publish keto and low carb recipes at jenniferbands.com. Today we're going to be making three different pancake recipes that are low carb and they're going to be easy and delicious of course because all of my recipes are always super easy delicious and require ingredients that you can find in most grocery stores and i'm also going to share with you my corgis uh, later on in this video so be sure you stick around for that First thing we need to do is get our pancake batter made. It's going to be a, the same pancake batter for all three recipes. Our first ingredient is two cups of almond flour. I love Blue Diamond brand almond flour. It is by far the best almond flour you can get. It is extra fine, sifted, like it's really, it is, it's not gonna give you that gritty texture that a lot of almond flours give. So there is a shopper button on this video. If you click that little shop your, uh, shopping bag button down in the corner, if you're on YouTube, you can click that button and it'll show you what almond flour that I stand by. We've got that in this bowl and we're gonna add a tablespoon of granular sweetener. I will also put a link to my granular sweetener. It's Lacanto. It's my favorite keto-friendly or low-carb friendly sweetener. I've got one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt. So we're gonna stir that in. That's our dry ingredients. Now for our wet, we've got three large eggs, a half a cup of half and half, so what is half and half? It's half cream, half milk. If you're in another country, in America, it's called half and half. I'm not sure what it's called in the, the UK or Australia. It might be called something like single cream, uh, but it's just half cream, half milk. Finally, we've got a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So that's our batter. Let's get this all stirred up. My batter was looking a little thick. So I added about a little bit of water. You just want to add a little bit at a time just to see that you just want the consistency to be pourable like this. So our batter is looking really good. It's nice and smooth. So now let's get our griddle ready. And while I'm getting the griddle ready, why don't I share with you my two crazy corgis? Introducing Rebel. Hi, Rebel. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait, no, no. Oh no, here comes another one. Oh no, oh no. And there's Rowdy. Hello. Why are you following me? Hi. Hi, Rowdy. Hi, Rebel. Are you too silly? So Rowdy is grumpy. Wait, did I say Rebel? That's Rebel. <laughs> Rebel is grumpy. And he is, he will be three at the end of October. And Rowdy is derpy. And he'll be one very soon. And at the beginning of July. Hello. Hello. I'm following you. Hi. Okay, we've got our griddle. And I've got it um, heating over medium. Uh, you don't, it doesn't matter what griddle you use. I just got this one off of Amazon. It's Dash brand. I'll link to it in that little shopper button. I've got my pancake batter here. I'm going to use a third of a cup measuring cup to, to divide out my batter. And I've got some softened butter to wipe on the, even though this is nonstick, I like to do some butter just so it doesn't stick. I'm just sure it won't stick. Well, this thing is awesome. It gets hot super fast. I can feel the heat. I can feel the heat. Maybe I'll turn it down a little bit. Okay, so let's bird, birder, let's butter our griddle. Ooh, it's sizzling. I'm only gonna butter half of it right now. Our first two pancakes are just boring. Well, they're delicious, they're boring. 
So let me pour some batter. Wait, was our was it preheated enough? Hmm. This is gonna be a dud. Your first pancake is always, it always sucks. I didn't have it preheated enough, so I'm gonna wait just a minute. Guess I'll go ahead and put some of the toppings or the flavoring in this pancake. This one's gonna be chocolate chip. So I've got some Lily's sugar-free chocolate chips here. They are super delicious. So I'm just gonna sprinkle those in. And if you want to make this whole batter, just chocolate chip uh, pancakes, just stir in a half a cup of chocolate chips into the batter. But since I'm doing different kinds, this is so great. Like if you don't, if you have different people that you're making pancakes for who like maybe somebody doesn't like chocolate chip pancakes, maybe they want a different kind of pancake. You could create different kinds of pancakes just, you know, by what you put in your batter. I think our griddle is preheated enough now. So I'm going to start on another pancake. I'm going to make this one chocolate chip too. That's the sizzle. It's what you want to hear. So let's make this one chocolate chip. This is like the perfect pancake consistency. Okay, what am I doing? I'm just standing here. I need to be making pancakes. Let me make a, another pancake. So these are going to be raspberry. So this recipe is really, I mean, you could eat it on keto, but it's really more for someone who's doing low carb because the batter is a little higher in carbs than more than like a cream cheese um, pancake batter, you know, like those keto cream cheese pancakes. This one's a little higher in carbs. So I, that's why I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's just add some raspberries. In they go. Oh, here, I'm gonna put one more on that one. These are so pretty, not quite ready to flip. I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer, especially those, they're, they're nice, getting nicely browned. While those are getting ready, I'm gonna go ahead and butter the rest of my griddle so we can make our third pancake recipe. We're gonna make sausage dippers. So I don't know if you've heard of sausage dippers before. I had never heard of it until yesterday. A lot of times people will do bacon dippers, but why not do sausage dippers? So what we're gonna do is I've got some, these are frozen chicken sausages that I got at Costco, it's Jones brand. And I cooked them in the microwave for, you know, the however they tell you to do it on the package. So I've got four here, you could do as many as you want. And I'm gonna throw them in the batter and coat them in the batter and then put them on the, the pan. Let's see if it works, I'm curious. I've never tried this before. And look at this little cute tongs. I just love these little tongs. Okay, so I'm gonna roll them in the batter and then use the tongs to put it on the pan. And like I said, you could do this with bacon. Um, I don't know what else you could do it with. Bacon, <laughs> sausage, bacon, I don't know. Now these would be really good to use this batter if you're keto because most of it's going to be the sausage, of course. Okay, let's see if our pancakes are ready to flip. Oh yeah. Do you see this pancake? These are perfect. This is the perfect pancake batter. Oh my gosh, look at that. I feel like a pro. So here's my trick for knowing when your pancakes are cooked all the way through. Right now, these are, they're feeling springy. So that tells you that when you, so when you push on the center, if they spring back, but if they don't spring back, they're not ready. If they do spring back, they're ready. I'm thinking that these need a couple more minutes, obviously, because I just flipped them. So let me grab a plate to put these delicious pancakes on. Okay, let's see how these look. Oh shoot, chocolate chip melty melt. Well, at least it came clean. It probably would be best if you fold the chocolate chips in because they just melted onto the griddle. But it, it's, it's not sticking to the griddle, so that's good. This is trial and error. 
Okay, let me see the raspberry. Same with the raspberry. Ooh, those look good. I'm gonna flip that one back over. Let me just say, I really love this griddle. This, um, the tray comes out and you can just put it in the dishwasher. That's what I'm talking about. But it looks like it would be really easy to clean, like it won't even need the dishwasher. This is not an ad, I'm just admiring the griddle. Okay, let's see, okay. There's nothing better than gooey, gooey, you know, chocolatey deliciousness. So let's get these on the plate. Our sausage need to cook a little bit longer. Let's see the best way to flip these. Nope, not like that. There we go. Ooh, I love these. Awesome. Since these are so thick, you might want to turn them on one of the sides just to make sure it gets cooked all the way through. Okay, these are looking done. Just gonna take them off with my fingers. My hands are clean. Ooh, they're hot. Okay, how good do these look? Let's go in with some sugar-free syrup. Mmm. Okay, I'm really excited to try the sausage dippers. So I'm gonna try that first. Oh my God. Mm. Those are so good. Oh my God, that is like salty, sweet. Mm. That's so good, okay. Let's try chocolate chip. <laughs> mm. Of course, chocolate chip is so good. And raspberry, last but not least. Mm hmm. They're all just singing in my mouth. <laughs> Guys, be sure you check out all of these recipes. I've linked to the main batter recipe down in the description. It's the chocolate chip pancake, but then you can put whatever you want in it and make it your own. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure you check out this recipe. Be sure you like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.